Okay, let's shake it up now and look at a different group of birds. This is one that even scientists go back and forth on whether they're true raptors or not. This is a member of the New World vultures, and it's the only type of vulture we get in the wild here in Washington State. That's the turkey vulture. Let's bring out Modoc, our turkey vulture. So just like the raptors, this is a meat-eating bird. He's a carnivore. He has to feed on other animals to survive. But unlike the raptors, he can't catch or kill anything himself. So he has to find things that are already dead. He's relying on the carcasses and the carrion out there in the environment to get a meal. So we call him a scavenger, not a predator. He doesn't have all those adaptations for hunting that the true raptors have. In fact, he has pretty weak feet and legs, doesn't have those sharp talons. He's got a pretty sharp beak, and that'll help him tear into tough hides on carcasses. He also has that beautiful ball that he feathers his head. And that's an adaptation that all vultures have to stay clean. The vultures can be very messy eaters. Their heads get quite dirty when they're feeding. And if they had a head full of feathers like other birds, they would have to put too much of their time into cleaning those feathers up. But with this bald head, they just perch out in the weather. That icky stuff flakes off pretty quickly. So a great way to keep vultures clean. And unfortunately, we don't think of vultures as clean birds. They tend to get a bad reputation as being dirty or even disease spreading. And that's really unfortunate. It couldn't be further from the truth. It's been shown that turkey vultures can feed on things that have died from horrible diseases like botulism or anthrax. And that vultures don't get sick. Any waste they create is disease free, so they're actually stopping the spread of disease. So a very beneficial bird. We're lucky we have turkey vultures here in Washington. Within the United States, there are three types of vultures that we could see. The turkey vulture ranges throughout uh, most of our country. The black vulture is found in the south and the east. And then we have the highly endangered California condor, a very, very large vulture. There's small populations of them in parts of California and Arizona. And as scavenging birds, these birds can easily suffer from secondary poisoning. And that's a big problem we're seeing right now with that California condor population. They are having trouble with lead poisoning. So if they mm. eat from a carcass that has lead shot in it, if they ingest just the tiniest amount of that lead, their stomach acids are so strong it breaks down, it enters their bloodstream, and they suffer from neurological problems and even death. So um, again, a big problem for that very fragile, endangered population. So um, we see that a little bit here in Washington with some of our scavengers. Our eagles do a lot of scavenging in the winter months. Another component to the project that we do with Fish and Wildlife is looking at lead levels in those eagles, especially the golden eagles in eastern Washington, which is a declining population. So a great way to help out if you're a hunter, make the switch from lead to steel or copper shot, much better for the environment.